call to order the um, 11 June 2024 meeting of Lancaster Conservation Commission at 7 o'clock p.m. Um, stop it taking a roll call attendance. Um, okay, Bruce McGregor? Here. Dennis Hubbard? Here. Um, David Mallette? David? Here. Uh, Jim LaValle here. We have our conservation ancient grad stone. Um, so I just wanted to make it uh, make you guys aware of the fact that I'm not actually on the commission until the July 1st legally. Oh, okay. Thank you. So I won't welcome you yet. <laughs> <laughs> I can't vote. Okay. Well, welcome uh, ahead of time, David. Yeah, welcome ahead of time. Yeah, yeah, welcome, David. Thank you. Hopefully, I can learn a little something before I can vote. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Um, so, first on the agenda is Zero Heritage Lane. And Brad, I understand we have a request for continuance. That's correct. Do you know to when? The, um, the next meeting. Okay. So, our next meeting is on the calendar it's the 25th. 25 yeah 25 june so do i have a motion make a motion to continue zero heritage lane to june 25th 2024 second. second sorry who second bruce second okay roll call vote uh dennis hubbard aye bruce mcgregor aye Jim Valley also votes aye. And David's not voting yet. Okay, next on the agenda is continued notice from 10 for 10 Fire Road 54. Um, I saw that there was also a request for continuance for this hearing. Um, Brad, is that also requested for the next meeting? That's correct. Okay. I'll make a motion to continue the notice of intent hearing for 10 Fire Road 54 to June 25th. Okay, do I have a second? Second. Okay, roll call vote. Dennis Hubbard? Aye. Bruce McGregor? Aye. Jim LaValley also votes aye. And the last um, public hearing on the agenda is um, continued notice from intent from a governed boulevard. Uh, they've requested a continuance to 25 June. Is that correct, Brad? I'll make a motion to continue to the uh, from a governed boulevard to June 25th. Okay. No second. second. I'm just making notes as we go. Roll call vote, Dennis Hubbard. Aye. Bruce McGregor. Aye. Jim LaValle also votes aye. That's it for the public hearings. Um, a quick meeting. So the next one is the um, 397 Santa Bridge Road enforcement order. Um, Brad, you want to take this? I saw you drafted an EO. Sure. So the commission recalls at the um, last meeting, I had drafted um, the actual state standard enforcement order form. And what I wanted to do is to just, uh, you know, add a few enclosures to that um, for clarification as well. So I, I did a cover letter. I included um, photographs as well. I did send um a draft of that to the commission yesterday. Um, hopefully some of you have had a chance to look at it, but I think it was kind of addressing some of the things that we, we wanted to add to it as discussed at the last meeting. Yeah, thanks, Brad. Um, I did get a chance to look at it. Um, it looks good. I have no issues with it, no, no questions. Um, Dennis, Bruce, did you guys get a chance to see it? I took a look at it. I thought it looked good. Yeah, uh, it looked favorable. So, um, okay. Did a nice job. Yeah, yeah, good job, Brad. So, I think um, we need to ratify this enforcement order. Um, so, I'll take a motion to ratify it. 
I'll make a motion to ratify the enforcement order. I'll second. Okay, roll call vote. Dennis Hubbard. Aye. Sorry. Uh, Bruce McGregor. Aye. Jim O'Valley also votes aye. Okay. Short meeting today, guys. Um, the next item on the discussions is open seats on the commission. So any updates here, Brad? I, I, I want to say there was one other person interested. Am I right? So actually, I, I have a, a few questions while everyone's here. Sure. Um, the the information I actually I I was paying attention to the board of selectmen agendas, um, particularly for for this matter to to see where they stood with seats, and I, I got information this week um, that there were two um, appointments made, and one was a reappointment, and the reappointment would be you, Bruce. So has has there yeah. been any change since the last meeting? No, no. So so what happened was, um, and first of all, thank you very much, David, for for joining the commission. I do appreciate that. So what happened was uh, a couple months ago, I had made the, uh, I had mentioned I was going to just finish out my term and I'll be all done, you know, at, at the end of June. I said, um, but what I can do is I can stay on until they find somebody. So now that now that David's joining, I'll be, I'll be stepping down at the end of June. So I will be all done. The thing I didn't want to do is if they hadn't found someone between now and when my term ended, I didn't want these guys to get stuck where they had to show up to a meeting without their, um, if, if one person didn't show up for the meeting, then they wouldn't be able to have a, a quorum. And I didn't want to, I didn't want to do that. But now that David's here, oh, yeah. now I'm going to do what I plan on doing originally and then just ending, uh, at the end of June. And they, um, Tom at the time had said to me that they would send me the stuff just in case we don't find somebody. And, uh, so, uh, so I never, uh, when I got the link the other day, I didn't do anything to it. Cause I knew I heard last, the, at the last meeting that David was going to be joining. So. All right. Well, sorry to see you go, Bruce. Um, it's been good. Oh, that's okay. You. Yeah. I, I, uh, the three years I've been here was wonderful. I loved it. Uh, it was great being with you guys and I learned a lot. I think three years was, was, was just the right amount of time for me. So I'm going to, I'm going to move on. Uh, but I, I do appreciate you guys having me on the commission. I really enjoyed my time here. So for whoever is interested in, in filling that new open seat, uh, I will say that uh, uh, I think that you guys will really enjoy it if you guys join. Yeah, Brad, do, do we do anything with like ad hoc commissioners or like backups? Is, is that a thing? I, I want to say there were a few 10 years ago when I joined. In, in terms of an alternate. So an I, don't, alternate, I, don't, yeah. I don't know if that's a thing here in Lancaster. I'd have to look into that. Um, it doesn't ZBA make a lot of sense. Some, I don't think we do on CompCom. No, it doesn't, on. doesn't make a lot of sense because you really need to be in, you know, in it and being paying, you could really need to be in it full time to be reading all of the information and it's, it's yeah. hard to just pop on. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I mean, some of the open hearings we have going now are good examples of that. You couldn't just come in and no, yeah, no, you really can't. So, but I'll be all done at the end of June. But I do appreciate you guys uh, having me on here. And uh, now we got David that will fill in my spot. And then, so Brad, you can go and and uh, look for another another. We've got one open seat now. Okay, so that's that's going to be um, leads into my other question and and. Yep. Thank you again, Bruce, for serving yeah. for your time. Um, sure. I know it's been brief, but I've enjoyed working with you during my time here. Um, <clears throat> so in, in terms of the appointments, so there was the vacant seat. Um, did, did the Board of Selectmen specifically indicate that David would be taking your seat for some reason? Because I, I did reach out in terms of the ability to participate. You know, I, I had checked to see if, if David had been sworn in at the clerk's office or if there was anything else holding him up in terms of starting. Um, Cause even if you're, if you're here for one more meeting, for instance, I am anticipating yep. at least a couple of new filings coming in between now and the next meeting possibly. Yeah. 
so if if we can um have david start the sooner the better so was there That's anything true. was there anything david while you're here in terms of the appointment that specified the starting date um did you receive a letter from the boris luckman's office or the town administrators um yes uh well when i when i went and was sworn in it did officially say as of july 1st and i said oh it's not immediate and they were like yep it's not immediate so um you know that that is the that's my understanding i i wouldn't want to um you know start getting involved in your quorums and um your discussions and deliberations um, if it wasn't amenable to the town or, you know, I'm guessing technically legal, it might make all your votes be, you know, thrown out. So was it, was it the clerk's office that told you that, David? That's correct. And it's on the paperwork. It's on the paperwork. Okay. Let, let me just look into that a little bit too, please. Um, yeah, it just, with, with the vacants, they, it, I'm not 100% sure how it was handled. I, I do want to see what was there. Um, but it, it probably should have been done that you were filling the vacant seat first rather than than Bruce's. Um, but I'll, I'll see what I can do in the meantime. Um, my goal is to have you start as soon as possible if you're available in two weeks. And if for some reason I can help facilitate that, great. Um, other, otherwise, it will you know have to wait till July. Yeah. Looking at the... The uh, agenda, I, the agenda for the select board meeting uh, last week that I unfortunately didn't attend. There's actually it has Carol Fassett on there as well for an open position. So did we get two new members? Yeah, I see. I thought there was another person. I just didn't know the name. So it says Conservation Commission to open terms to expire six thirty twenty seven, um, and then there's three names: Bruce, Carol, and David. Right. So, so I. I reached out to the town administrator's office. Um, the The only two names I received was was Bruce and, and David. But that's great because it gives Carol an opportunity to join now. You know. Yeah, definitely. Um, it would be wonderful to have five members. I mean, we used to be yep. a seven member board. Sure. Um, much that time we didn't have seven members. Um, so we moved it to a five member board um, and we haven't been full for a long time. So it would be awesome. Okay. Anything else there? Okay. Next on the agenda is minutes to approve. Um, we have the minutes from April 23rd. Everybody get a chance to look at those? Yep. Yep. Yep, me too. Um, any corrections? So the only thing that I saw was that um, in some parts of it, my name is spelt McGregor, M-C, capital G-R-E-G-O-R, -E which is correct. And then in other parts of it, my name is spelt M-A-C, capital G-R-E-G-O-R. So... If they could just change all the ones that have MAC to MC, then that would be great. Okay. That's the only thing I saw on here. Yeah. Brad, can you ask for us to do that? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. If there's make, no... Yeah, Dennis? It's going to make a motion to approve the April 23rd, 2024 meeting minutes with the alteration of uh, the correction of the spelling of uh, Bruce's last name yep. um, as documented. Okay. Roll call vote. Dennis Hubbard. Aye. Bruce McGregor. Aye. Jim LaValle also votes aye. All right. Um, that brings us to the end of the agenda, I think. Any other business? I think we just set a record. Well, yeah, there really wasn't much. <laughs> yeah, we, we're just setting next week uh, or two weeks. I can be a long one. That's all. <laughs> yeah. We're going to pay for it eventually. Okay. And I'm, I'm bringing a strong win to you guys. You're getting everything done quickly. <laughs> <laughs> enjoy this one because I think we might have some long ones coming up.
I thought the last one was pretty quick too. So <laughs> yeah, it was kind of quick. Yeah. All right. I'll take a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. I'll second. Okay. Roll call vote. Dennis Hubbard. Hi. Bruce McGregor. Hi. Jim Valley also votes aye. Hi, Tom Christopher. <laughs> How you doing, Jim? And good. Bruce and, and Dennis. Hello. Good to see you all. Hi, I'm Brad. Good to see you. We just adjourned. Did you have anything? Nope, nope. Uh, just checking in to see what you were doing. I expected that uh, you would have uh, some interesting, some interesting hearings, uh, continuations. But uh, I guess uh, because there's only a, a three of you there, that uh, some of the folks decided to uh, beg off until you had a full commission. I think that's true with at least one of them. Yeah. 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 And and I think that's probably a good idea. And uh, certainly, uh, congratulations to. Uh, David for stepping up, uh, and who is the other person that is stepping up? Carol, somebody. Carol. There was a Carol uh, Facet was in the meeting minutes. Uh, excuse me, the agenda of the select board. I didn't watch the meeting, and okay, so I I don't know for sure. And it sounds like when Brad reached out, they only mentioned David. So we okay. might have one approved right now. Yeah, uh, I, I don't know Carol, uh, but uh, I'm certainly uh, encouraged by the fact that she's uh, she's stepping up. And uh, uh, the one great thing about uh, being on a commission, even if you come in not knowing a thing, it doesn't take you very long to learn an awful lot in a very short time. I mean, I think it's just a, a, a great place to uh, to have a learning experience. So, uh, and again, uh, looking back on the 10 years that I spent on the board and watched a, a lot of you uh, come in. Some of you came in as applicants and then decided, well, certainly Jim and certainly uh, uh, certainly Tom came in as applicants at one time and joined the commission. And I think the job that, that you guys are doing now that, that I've left and even while I was there, it's just fantastic. You know, you've, you've really taken a hat uh, how important the position is and how critical the decisions that you make are. It's it's not uh, the most important thing is you've taken you've taken the position away from being something that was very political into something that essentially was uh, wetlands protection based and and bylaw based and and that that was a big step when I first joined the commission back in 2012. Uh, it was it was not what I would say a great commission, but I think it has grown to where you are today, where you're making really good decisions one right after another. So congratulations as always. Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. Thank you, Tom. Um, yeah, we miss you on the board. Thank you, Tom, for your kind words. I just wanted to say it to you and uh, yeah, you're absolutely right. There's going to be quite a learning curve for me, but I'm a, a definitely willing participant and I'm very interested in, um, I've been reviewing a lot of the um, meetings for the last six months and things like that. So I'll, I'll keep that up and I'll be ready for July 1st. And hopefully I'll understand your nomenclature well by then. Well, that's great. Congratulations. Uh, I have been following uh, meetings uh, of different commissions uh, since I moved away from Lancaster and I live in Fitchburg now. And Fitchburg has a commission where they have two alternates that attend every meeting. And uh, in the event that someone can't make a meeting, one of the alternates does step in. And uh, I do know of a case many, many years ago in the uh, city of Cambridge where they allowed a, a professor who lived in the town of Shirley to actually be a member of the Cambridge Commission. And I believe they went to the legislature to allow that to happen. But uh, there are uh, two other options uh, for this commission if, if they decided to uh, uh, go down that road. Cool, thanks for that. So, so I'm feeling like we should adjourn again. <laughs> <laughs> should I do that, Brad? What do you think? Another motion? Motion to adjourn a second time? Yeah, let's, well, I doubt what we did was deliberation, so maybe we're fine. Just in case, I'll second the second. Yeah, okay. Dennis. Hi. <laughs> Bruce. Hi. Me. I vote aye. Okay.